So before we get into the big discussion of the week, we are going to uh, recommend two podcasts from Osiris Media that we hope that you listen to. Uh, Dave, what do you got? What are you what are you encouraging listeners to check out from Osiris? I'm a little biased here, but as you know, uh, both Brian and myself, uh, Brian more so, worked to put together the, the Undermine podcast. We uh, took a two week break when Fish is on tour, but we just came back with episode seven, which is called Set Break, and this is probably my favorite episode of the season, and the fact that it explores spirituality in fish, uh, it explores being sober in fish, so there's exploration of psychedelics, spirituality, and sobriety, and I'm a little biased because I um, I conducted two of the interviews, which make up about a uh, good like 15 minutes of the episode, and I'm extremely happy with how it came out. And just in terms of, um, I'll say I'll give a little hint, a little bit what it's about. There's a large section uh, on Judaism, in particular how um, things like Jewish summer camp and Jewish youth groups and sort of uh, like Reformed Jews looking for some kind of form of like spirituality, why there's so many Jews that seem to enjoy fish, uh, myself among them. And that was just... Um, a really excellent section. A lot of it included our good buddy, Jake Cohen, who uh, we had on Beyond the Pond to talk about uh, the Boise ACDC bag a while ago. So I just, I'm in love with the series and thought this one was really well done. And you can catch up with it if you haven't yet. But as a standalone episode, uh, episode seven works as well. I would agree. I loved uh, the way episode seven came through and the 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 goal that we had of trying to tackle the spiritual nature of a fish show through varying ways that people get there uh, was, was something I felt was a huge accomplishment. Big shout out to Benji Eisen. I am going to recommend the final episode of the Breaking Waves series. Um, I am again showing a little bit of bias here because I worked on this, but episode four, Can You Hear Us? The new Puget Sound. Uh, really fantastic conclusion to an incredible four-part series about the rise of grunge, the impact of grunge, uh, the impact of Seattle on American culture, and then what happened when the scene started to dissipate, uh, when, as, as, as is said throughout the show, the vampires came in and started sucking up all the opportunities musically and uh culturally within Seattle and then where are we at today and this episode was really a fascinating look at where Seattle has been since uh, basically the end of the 90s um and it makes you really really realize like how many artists you listen to who have come from Seattle who have nothing to do with grunge uh we heard from Perfume Genius we heard from Ben Gibbard we talked about Fleet Foxes. I mean, there was so much music that came out of Seattle in the 2000s that really informed indie rock and indie pop at the time. And the series kind of ends with a look at Aaron Jones, um, who is one of the best uh, rising singer-songwriters in Seattle. Um, we hear from Eva Walker, as well as Joss Rosenfeld, who is one of the label executives in Seattle, who's really pushing these younger artists. Um, I got to do an interview with Sir Mix-A-Lot for this episode, which was a fascinating, uh, incredible opportunity, who talked a lot about where hip hop and rock are kind of, you know, fusing in Seattle in a really fascinating way. So it asks a really in interesting question about what happens to scenes 20, 30 years after the fact. Can there be another wave that comes? And and uh, that was always kind of a you know, really fascinating question that we considered in the pre-production of this series. Um, two big shout outs just, just from my end. Uh, Jim Allen, the writer for the show, did an incredible job crafting together this through line and this narrative, uh, taking a ton of interview content and figuring a way to tell this incredible story. And huge shout out to Brad Stratton, the editor, producer, uh, executive producer of the show. Um, I'd never worked with Brad before this show and uh, the opportunity to work with someone who truly understands how to take a wild idea for a show, condense it down, and then make it into a reality that sounds just lush and beautiful and is something you just want to live in for each hour that it's out and then go back and live in it again uh, is a huge accomplishment. So uh, Undermine Episode 7 as well as Breaking Waves Episode 4, we are recommending 